I'm Giuseppe Lanzino, a neurosurgeon at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and I specialize in the treatment of patients uh, with uh, brain aneurysms. We will be talking today about uh, aneurysmal subarachnoid hemorrhage from rupture of a brain aneurysm. This condition is one of the most complex, uh, if not the most complex, acute condition that uh, we encountered in medicine. In a patient with the ruptured brain aneurysm, the healthcare team uh, has to face uh, difficult uh, and uh, important issues associated with the neurological complications, but also many systemic uh, complications and issues related to a prolonged ICU and hospital stay in uh, some cases. Because of these issues, uh, rupture of an intracranial aneurysm uh, traditionally was often associated with the poor prognosis. And uh, among survivors, many patients were left with important physical and uh, cognitive uh, disability. In the past few decades, there have been uh, several improvements in critical care, treatment modalities for uh, the ruptured aneurysms, and uh, better understanding of uh, all the processes surrounding these disorders. All these improvements have led to the recognition that many patients who suffer a rupture of a brain aneurysm indeed have the potential for a full physical and a cognitive recovery. Treatment of this condition involves a highly specialized team composed by individuals with different uh, background and uh, subspecializations, which is uh, available uh, uh, in a few selected uh, centers. This uh, collaboration uh, and uh, highly specialized team is available here at uh, Mayo Clinic in uh, Rochester. And uh, recently, we have uh, published and documented uh, excellent uh, outcomes in a very high percentage of non-selected patients admitted after uh, aneurysm rupture. And this work has been uh, published uh, uh, in 2015 in the Journal of Neurosurgery. Hello, my name is Alejandro Rabinstein. I'm a neurologist and intensivist at uh, Mayo Clinic. I work uh, closely with Dr. Giuseppe Lanzino, uh, who's uh, the neurosurgeon that you just uh, heard from. And I want to emphasize a few points about uh, this uh, very challenging condition, aneurysmal subarachnoid hemorrhage. It used to be, and that is the way I learned it when I was in medical school, that when an aneurysm ruptured in the brain and a patient uh, had subarachnoid hemorrhage, it was often considered that that was a sentence either to death or permanent disability. That is no longer the case. Advances in uh, medical and surgical care have allowed uh, for a significant proportion of patients with subarachnoid hemorrhage to achieve excellent recovery. In fact, as we have published, over six out of 10 patients with subarachnoid hemorrhage from a rupture aneurysm can recover excellent function with minimal or no symptoms at six months under our care. And we are very proud of that. We achieved these outcomes thanks to a multidisciplinary ap approach to the disease. The multidisciplinary team includes neurosurgeons, neurologists, with a particular expertise on the disease, and the care is conducted in a dedicated neuroscience ICU with specialized nurses who have training and interest in the care of this disease. And this is fundamental to optimize outcomes uh, for any patient with this condition. And it is primarily about clinical expertise. There are other ICUs that rely very heavily on technology, uh, invasive monitoring devices and uh, different type of machines to do the work that uh, we try to do based on our clinical expertise. We try to wake patients up as soon as they can be awakened, and we try to rely on our examination first and foremost. Old fashioned, but it works better. We try to consolidate the care uh, of these very complicated cases in a few hands, because that is the way that we enhance our expertise. We have a very reasonable volume of cases and high volume of uh, cases of subarachnoid hemorrhage has been associated with better outcomes. You need to see a lot of these cases to understand them well 
and be able to deliver the best care to the patients. And first and foremost, we set a very high bar on ourselves to try to achieve the best possible outcome for all the patients with this condition. This is very important. We are not satisfied with the patient who uh, was comatose in uh, the ICU and then can walk, can talk, but is not back to the previous level of functioning. We want to return patients to the full function that they had before the hemorrhage. That is why we not only uh, deliver uh, expert care in uh, the hospital, but we follow the patients very, very closely in the outpatient setting. I just came from seeing a patient uh, that I had in the hospital a couple of months ago, and this is my fifth follow-up with her trying to improve her residual symptoms as much as possible, and she is getting better. We are uh, always glad to uh, receive uh, transfers for subarachnoid hemorrhage. Uh, we think that we do a very good job in these cases. Uh, we want to help as many patients as possible with this condition, and we think we are very well prepared to do so. Thank you.